Gathering before Victorian Parliament, the call to cancel Australia Day celebrations increasing in volume despite pandemic restrictions that threaten to silence it. Aboriginal peoples and supporters reiterating January 26 is no day to celebrate. We need to take this nation forward and the only way to do that is through a peace treaty. We need to end the war now. Placards commemorating those who've died in custody as some 5,000 protesters brought the city to a standstill. Always was, always will be Aboriginal land. Participants urged to wear masks and use hand sanitizer with efforts to keep the focus on the rally rather than the pandemic. Yes, the COVID still mucks everything up, but as long as we're still fighting for what we believe and are making um, that loud, our voices, to be heard, that's it. The rally was delayed almost an hour as the crowd was divided into groups of 100 to remain in line with Victorian COVID restrictions. Despite calls to cancel the event this year, supporters say it's too important to put off. There is nothing positive about the, the date of January 26 from an Aboriginal perspective. The slow march ending in the city centre, a man draped in an Australian flag sparking anger from several members of the crowd, ushered away and handcuffed by police. In Sydney, four arrests in Hyde Park after their Invasion Day rally at the Domain. Around 3,000 turned out despite threats from the New South Wales Police Minister that attendees would face fines and imprisonment. We all march today no matter COVID or no COVID. We all march in each state. We're not an unreasonable lot. We want to really get through this. When we be quiet, then nothing is going to change. Authorities praising the general behaviour of the crowd. People were able to express their views, get in and out of that um, protest zone as safely as possible and, and move on. Passionate pleas also resonated north of the border. More than 5,000 marched through the city, pausing for traditional Aboriginal dances as the push to abolish Australia Day gathers momentum in Queensland. We got a lot of people giving, helping out that have never been a part of this community or participated in an Invasion Day event before. Those in Hobart wanting to attend a rally had to check in and be counted. The annual march cancelled because of coronavirus restrictions, but a COVID safe sit-in at Tasmania's Parliament House lawn went ahead. I think it goes to show uh, the opinions and the understanding and the attitudes of the general public is changing. Huge crowds in Canberra marching from the Aboriginal tent embassy to Parliament House, lamenting the resistance of the federal government to change the date. And nothing's changed. Protesters fending off a man seen here holding an Australian flag and wearing a Make America Great Again cap, while organisers of the Invasion Day rally in Adelaide expressed surprise at the level of support they've received this year. It's really given me faith in the next generation and people changing their minds about how we work this day. Thousands marching through the city before staging a sit-in on the steps of Parliament. Demands for change ringing out in unison across the nation.